working, traveling, or playing on the water is a way of life for Alaskans. But Alaska's cold water and harsh conditions can quickly turn any boating trip into a life-threatening emergency. Unlike marine mammals with their natural insulation and buoyancy, humans can't survive in Alaska's water without additional flotation and protection from the cold. Immersion suits are designed to provide the flotation and insulation a person's life depends on in a cold water emergency. Immersion suits, sometimes called survival suits, have been around for a long time. Today, there are a wide variety of sizes and designs available. There is no best brand of immersion suit. All should meet United States Coast Guard standards and have a label inside indicating Coast Guard approval. Having a Coast Guard approved immersion suit on board is just the first step. For an immersion suit to protect you in the water, it must fit correctly, be properly maintained, and be stored in an accessible location. You must also practice putting on your immersion suit quickly to make sure you can do so in an emergency. Commercial fishing vessels operating in cold waters are required to have an immersion suit of the proper size for each individual on board. The only way to find your correct size is to try on an immersion suit. Make sure it'll fit over the clothes that you typically wear on deck. Check to make sure the hood seals around your face, that your hands fit into the gloves, and that the suit will not ride up over your head. If it does, large amounts of water can enter through the hood, decreasing your chances for survival. If you are a between-sized person, try another brand of suit. One brand may be cut too large for you, while another brand may fit perfectly. In an emergency, you must be able to identify the correct size of immersion suit quickly. If there are different sizes of suits on board, mark them with easily recognized objects such as a whistle, a light, or some additional reflective tape. This will aid in quick identification, especially at night. Hey, Pat, how are you doing? Hey, Jerry, how are you doing? Well, pretty good. Uh, I broke the zipper on my suit, so I guess I need to get another suit for this trip. Uh, well, you bet. We got them right here. It's, uh, it's a, when buying a new immersion suit, take a moment to examine the features and make sure it fits you. All immersion suits have a waterproof zipper. This is one of the most important features of the suit. Take a moment to make sure the zipper works smoothly and has a handle that is easy to grab. Immersion suits come with a wide variety of gloves to suit individual preferences. Three or five finger gloves are common but may be difficult to work in. Removable gloves provide the most dexterity but they are difficult to keep watertight and often cause your hands to get cold quickly. Try out different gloves to determine which type best meets your needs. Pockets for lights and other survival gear are an important feature on an immersion suit. On some brands, you can add pockets which zip into the flotation collar or slide over the arm. All immersion suits have a face flap that protects your nose and mouth. Some have Velcro attached to the back of the face flap to hold it open while donning the suit. Many immersion suits also have one-way exhaust valves built into the legs. These valves are designed to let air out without letting water in. They're intended to prevent trapped air from causing a person to float head down in the water. To be Coast Guard approved, an immersion suit must include the following items. It must have 62 square inches of retro-reflective tape placed so it can be seen when a person is floating in the water. It must have a light with a dated battery. It must have a pillow or a collar that provides additional flotation. This additional flotation is very important in rough seas. The flotation collar is inflated by pressing down on the tip of the hose with your mouth and blowing air into it. When the tip is released, the valve closes and air can't escape. Make sure the tip of the hose moves freely without sticking. If the hose has a locking nut, make sure it is always set in the open or down position. Finally, Coast Guard regulations require immersion suits to be marked with the name of the vessel or the owner of the suit. 
Ask your immersion suit manufacturer for the type of marking ink they recommend. Immersion suits should be inspected at least once each month. If properly maintained, they will last many years. The zipper on an immersion suit should receive careful attention during each inspection. Green on the zipper is a sign of corrosion. To remove corrosion, try cleaning the zipper with a toothbrush and a slurry of baking soda and water. Rinse with fresh water. If any green is still present, repeat the process. If this doesn't remove all the corrosion, immediately remove the suit from service and send to a factory authorized facility for repair. Immersion suit zippers need to be regularly lubricated with a non-petroleum lubricant recommended by the manufacturer. Spread the lubricant on all sides of the zipper. Be sure and lubricate the locking teeth on the back of the zipper. Slide the zipper up and down a few times to spread the lubricant evenly. Don't forget to lubricate the snaps on the stowage bag to assure easy access to your suit when you need it. Inspect the suit for holes, rippers need to be regularly lubricated with a non-petroleum lubricant recommended by the manufacturer. Spread the lubricant on all sides of the zipper. Be sure and lubricate the locking teeth on the back of the zipper. Slide the zipper up and down a few times to spread the lubricant evenly. Don't forget to lubricate the snaps on the stowage bag to assure easy access to your suit when you need it. Inspect the suit for holes, rippers need to be regularly lubricated with a non-petroleum lubricant recommended by the manufacturer. Spread the lubricant on all sides. Inspect on the back. Spread the lubricate the suit when you need or whole sides of the back of the zip times two snaps on the zipper. Be sure and lubricate. Spread the lubricate lubricant the locking teeth. Slide the lubricant lubricant zipper up and down a few lubricant evenly. Recommend on all. Don't forget to lubricate the stowage bag. To assure you inspect the manufacture suit folds, rippers need to be regular on the back lily lubricated with a non zipper. Spread the lubricate the suit when you need or whole sides of the back of the zip times two snaps on the zipper. Be sure and lubricate spread the patrol lubricate the locking teeth. Slide the lubricant lubricant zipper up and down a few lubricant evenly. Recommend on all don't forget to lubricate the stowage bag. To assure you inspect the manufacture suit folds, rippers need to be regular on the back lily lubricated with a non zipper. Spread the lubricate the suit when you need or whole sides of the back of the zip times two snaps on the zipper. Be sure and lubricate spread the patrol lubricate the locking teeth. Slide the same lubricant lubricant zipper up and down a few lubricant evenly. Recommend on all don't forget to lubricate the stowage bag. To assure you inspect the manufacture suit folds, rippers need to be regular on the back lily lubricated with a non zipper. Spread the lubricate the suit when you need or whole sides of the back of the zip times two snaps on the zipper. Be sure and lubricate spread the patrol lubricate the locking teeth. Slide the same lubricant lubricant zipper up and down a few lubricant evenly. Recommend on all don't forget to lubricate the stowage bag. To assure you inspect the manufacture suit folds, rippers need to be regular on the back lily lubricated with a non zipper. Spread the lubricate the suit when you need or whole sides of the back of the zip times two snaps on the zipper. Be sure and lubricate spread the patrol lubricate the locking teeth. Slide the same lubricant lubricant zipper up and down a few lubricant evenly. Recommend on all don't forget to lubricate the stowage bag. To assure you inspect the manufacture suit folds, rippers need to be regular on the back lily lubricated with a non zipper. Spread the lubricate the suit when you need or whole sides of the back of the zip times two snaps on the zipper. Be sure and lubricate spread the patrol lubricate the locking teeth. Slide the same lubricant lubricant zipper up and down a few lubricant evenly. Recommend on all don't forget to lubricate the stowage bag. To assure you inspect the manufacture suit folds, rippers need to be regular on the back lily lubricated with a non zipper. Spread the lubricate the suit when you need or whole sides of the back of the zip times two snaps on the zipper. Be sure and lubricate spread the patrol lubricate the locking teeth. Slide the same lubricant lubricant zipper up and down a few lubricant evenly. Recommend on all don't forget to lubricate the stowage bag. To assure you inspect the manufacture suit folds, rippers need to be regular on the back lily lubricated with a non zipper. Spread the lubricate the suit when you need or whole sides of the back of the zip times two snaps on the zipper. Be sure and lubricate spread the patrol lubricate the locking teeth. Slide the same lubricant lubricant zipper up and down a few lubricant evenly. 
recommend on all don't forget to lube a stowage bag to assure you inspect and manufacture suit folds rippers need to be regular on the back lily lubricated with a non zipper spread to locate the suit when you need your whole sides of the back of the zip times two apps on the here be sure and lubricate spread the and patrol locate the locking teeth for slide the same lubricant lubricant zipper up and down a few lubricant evenly recommend on all don't forget to lubricate the stowage bag to assure you inspect and manufacture suit folds rippers need to be regular on the back lily lubricated with a non zipper spread to locate the suit when you need your whole sides of the back of the zip times two apps on the here be sure and lubricate spread the and patrol locate the locking teeth for slide the same lubricant lubricant zipper up and down a few lubricant evenly recommend on all don't forget to lubricate the stowage bag to assure you inspect and manufacture suit folds rippers need to be regular on the back lily lubricated with a non zipper spread to locate the suit when you need your whole sides of the back of the zip times two apps on the here be sure and lubricate spread the and patrol locate the locking teeth for slide the same lubricant lubricant zipper up and down a few lubricant evenly recommend on all don't forget to lubricate the stowage bag to assure you inspect and manufacture suit folds rippers need to be regular on the back lily lubricated with a non zipper spread to locate the suit when you need your whole sides of the back of the zip times two apps on the here be sure and lubricate spread the and patrol locate the locking teeth for slide the same lubricant lubricant zipper up and down a few lubricant evenly recommend on all don't forget to lubricate the stowage bag to assure you inspect and manufacture suit folds rippers need to be regular on the back lily lubricated with a non zipper spread to locate the suit when you need your whole sides of the back of the zip times two apps on the here be sure and lubricate spread the and patrol locate the locking teeth for slide the same lubricant lubricant zipper up and down a few lubricant evenly recommend on all don't forget to lubricate the stowage bag to assure you inspect and manufacture suit folds rippers need to be regular on the back lily lubricated with a non zipper spread to locate the suit when you need your whole sides of the back of the zip times two apps on the here be sure and lubricate spread the and patrol locate the locking teeth for slide the same lubricant lubricant zipper up and down a few lubricant evenly recommend on all don't forget to lubricate the stowage bag to assure you inspect and manufacture suit folds rippers need to be regular on the back lily lubricated with a non zipper spread to locate the suit when you need your whole sides of the back of the zip times two apps on the here be sure and lubricate spread the and patrol locate the locking teeth for slide the same lubricant lubricant zipper up and down a few lubricant evenly recommend on all don't forget to lubricate the stowage bag to assure you inspect and manufacture suit folds rippers need to be regular on the back lily lubricated with a non zipper spread to locate the suit when you need your whole sides of the back of the zip times two apps on the here be sure and lubricate spread the and patrol locate the locking teeth for slide the same lubricant lubricant zipper up and down a few lubricant evenly recommend on all don't forget to lubricate the stowage bag to assure you inspect and manufacture suit folds rippers need to be regular on the back lily lubricated with a non zipper spread to locate the suit when you need your whole sides of the back of the zip times two apps on the here be sure and lubricate spread the and patrol locate the locking teeth for slide the same lubricant lubricant zipper up and down a few lubricant evenly recommend on all don't forget to lubricate the stowage bag to assure you inspect and manufacture suit folds rippers need to be regular on the back lily lubricated with a non zipper spread to locate the suit when you need your whole sides of the back of the zip times two apps on the here be sure and lubricate spread the and patrol locate the locking teeth for slide the same lubricant lubricant zipper up and down a few lubricant evenly recommend on all don't forget to lubricate the stowage bag to assure you inspect and manufacture suit folds rippers need to be regular on the back lily lubricated with a non zipper spread to locate the suit when you need your whole sides of the back of the zip times two apps on the here be sure and lubricate spread the get to lubricate lubricant on all inspect lily lube suit when you need locate the lock zipper zipper up and to assure you locate the slide this recommend folds lubricated here down a few don't forget to lubricate the stowage bag times two lily lube manufacture suit flaps on rippers near and lube suit when you need to be regular on the back with a non lubricant locate the locking teeth spread the lubricant on all sides of the bag in lubricant lubricant evenly back of the zip zipper inspect zipper up and to assure you locate the slide this recommend holes lubricated here 